The USS Fletcher, first laid down in October of 1941 and named after Admiral Frank Friday Fletcher, was a workhorse destroyer of the U.S. Navy that saw service in the Pacific during World War II. Wait, zoom on. Hold on. What? No, hold on. Just hold on a second. Is that... I guess so. Well, uh, Zoom Walt, it is, then. Like the Fletcher, the Zoom Walt was also named after an admiral. That is, Admiral Elmo Zoom Walt. Admiral Zoom Walt had a big role in the Navy during Vietnam, and helped reform the Navy to make life easier for the enlisted men. While previous destroyers were made with battles in the open ocean in mind, the Zumwalt destroyer was designed to coordinate with and support land forces, as well as serving in anti-air, anti-surface, and anti-submarine warfare. A special advanced gun system was designed specifically for the Zumwalt, the very cleverly named Advanced Gun System. This fired a long-range projectile designed for land attack adeptly named the Long Range Land Attack Projectile. The LR Lap was the only projectile the AGS could use, so when it was cancelled in 2016, the Navy repurposed the Zumwalt to serve away from ground support and focus on surface warfare. The Zumwalt has a very unique hull design called a wave-piercing tumble-home hull. The name is self-explanatory. Because the form of the ship slopes inward above the waterline, the radar cross-section is much smaller than a traditional hull shape, which greatly increases its stealthability. Which makes you wonder, if time travelers went back in time to tell the Confederates the secrets of radar technology when they designed the CSS Virginia. Ah, only kidding, of course. It was aliens, not time travelers. The U.S. had intended to build 32 Zumwalt class destroyers. This got cut down to 24, then down to 7. The Zumwalt ended up being a bit more costly than predicted, partly due to the nature of experimental technology. Another cause for the reduction of the Zumwalt class was that the world was changing around the time of the program's funding in 2005. The missions that the Zumwalt was designed for just weren't relevant anymore and the tried and true Arleigh Burke class was needed over the Zumwalt. Fifteen classified intelligence reports presented to the Navy caused them to conclude that the Zumwalts were vulnerable to missile attacks, which was becoming the face of modern combat. Certain groups that were opposed to the United States, such as Hezbollah, were in possession of anti-ship missiles, and the Zumwalt's vulnerability became even more worrisome. In the end, only three Zumwalts were ever built the Zumwalt, the Michael Monsoor, and the Lyndon B. Johnson. This kit is available from MRS Hobby Shop in Salt Lake City or Sandy, Utah, or online at killings.com.